Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be part of my YouTube family. My friends, today I am sharing a snowy winter village card and it's for a couple of challenges that I'm doing with some friends as well as for Saturday Morning Makes hosted by Jillian Norwood because I just finished this card this morning and I'll share with you first the card and then how I created this and what I used to create it because my friends, this is probably one of my very favorite hero arts my monthly hero kits and this is from october of 2017 so she's been in my stash for a good little while and she's going to stay there because this is one of my absolute favorites so here is the card that i created and i was going with the theme of our group for January has a Christmas card all year and each month there will be two songs that we can choose from and for January it was Santa Claus is coming to town or I'm dreaming of a white Christmas so you can see here I included both of those in a super fun way because this kit allowed me to do exactly that and this is of course also going to be entered to stay crafty with my monthly hero and the theme this month is what's old is new again so bring out those older supplies and it's beginning to look new so definitely check that one out as well so this is my card i grew up in europe so when i was very small of course those swiss alps and the bavaria areas and austria really stole my heart so i'm still smitten absolutely in love with snow and winter and just miss it so much i'm in one of the hottest states in the u.s <laughs> so the only way i get snow in winter is creating it on paper so you'll see a lot of that in my creativity and in my creations in my paper crafts so here we go my friends this is a little winter village i did the traditional colors on the bell tower and of course put it right in the center of the village added on mr and mrs claus and little sleigh over here and then this background i'm absolutely obsessed with this paper hopefully you can see it on camera in real life this card is absolutely beautiful i'm not sure it's quite picking up here let's see if i can get a little more light and i'll show you the paper in its entirety it's gorgeous so the background i decided to use the matching dye to this set and create almost like it's in the distance that's why it gives it that light shadowy effect with that baby blue paper and this of course was colored with my copic marker so here is the stamp set hopefully you can see it let me grab this is my actual original invoice look at <laughs> from 2017 isn't that amazing so here it is and i love how versatile this is so you could very easily do like a merry christmas card you could do a happy holidays with just the christmas carolers over here is the north pole so you could do an entire winter scene not even bother with christmas or the holidays at all so it's a happy holidays all the way over to creating a super fun adorable santa's workshop so one two three four different ways to use this stamp set right off the bat i absolutely love this here are the matching dies some of the pieces that i cut out and just stuck in here as an excess as well as a second way to use this set i'll show you really quickly it does come with some ink as well i believe there's four colors in here and on this particular card I only stamped out with black ink, so there's no color needed for this one. Check out this paper. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. Absolutely obsessed with this paper. This is the original paper that did come with the kit. I've used very little of it. As I've used this through the years, I've either used just plain cardstock or did a Distress Oxide background. Look at this gorgeous shimmery silver. Love that. Here's another beautiful one got that great foil look without doing any of the work it's done for you i think there's a couple repeats yeah here's some more of that silver and then here is the crowning jewel i'm obsessed i absolutely love this it does have a raised 3d effect to this and i'm thinking if you have an embossing folder you'd be able to create the same type of look you could just run it through your embossing folder and get these little ridges and bumps nooks and crannies because i think that is just stunning so you can see here i've been hoarding this paper <laughs> i just do not want to use it but you know it's about time so I did use a little piece on that card there so I'm going to tuck this back inside it is 
precious cargo and put that right there. So I wanted to share this with you. Here's another way to make a similar look when changing it up just a little bit. You can see here I did use the Village die that's included in this kit, which is, I believe it's this one here. And there's three to use from. You get the outline of the village, which I love, love, love. You get these trees. Let me bring this back over. So here you have some mountains. I think I called those trees. Those are mountains. <laughs> here are the trees. And then there is the background one that is probably still over on the stamp desk. Let me see if it's here. I don't believe I have that with me. Okay, so we'll just pretend that it's here. Yeah, I'm not seeing that I brought it over with me for my stamping supplies. That's okay. It is just like this. It looks exactly the same, except for it has the outline of these villages right here. And I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. So what I thought would be really pretty is to change up the shape. Here's one that's square. This one has the rounded corners. And then I did the same thing. I ran it through the machine with a rounded corner die as well and then added on the mountains you can see just like that to switch it up just a little bit so this same little winter scene could be very easily set on the little mountains in the background and here is that little tower again you can add some trees and then i stamped out here it's christmas time so very similar but you get a completely different look. And this would even be pretty if you left the images uncolored and left them white just like that. I think that is such an elegant and stunning look to cards. So there you go, my friends, a little bit of whimsy, a lot of elegance, a little bit of a classic look. And I just think this is so cute. If I could change one thing, I would have moved this over a little bit and added on this cute little reindeer right here in the front of it and probably balanced it out a little bit more. I don't know why I wasn't thinking of that when I created this card, but it's already out on social media and I'm happy with it the way that it is. So this is okay that there's no little reindeer. I can always reconsider that idea for this card here and make a second one. See, there you go. It'll be a twofer. All right, my friends, definitely check out those hashtags. Saturday Morning Makes Christmas all year long. Follow me on Instagram right here in the description box, and it'll be linked on how you can get there. And of course, check out this month's My Monthly Hero. Stay crafty, my friends. And that is going to be it for this one. I will see you on my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.